Okay, in this video, we'll talk about the possession of unique assets. Another type of economic moat can be created when a company invests in developing and building its own intangible assets. Examples of such assets include things like patents, a strong and widely recognizable brand name, copyrighted intellectual property, and specialized permits or other kinds of government-issued licenses. These types of assets provide a natural economic moat for the company's continued and profitable business operation. Strong brand name recognition allows these types of companies to charge a premium for their products over other competitors' products because they offer customers something that's limited, exclusive, or difficult to replicate, as well as something that's often known for having a predictable level of quality. The perfect example might be Nike, which started out as a simple athletic apparel company but has since become a major cultural institution and a purveyor not only of gear but of status. Designer fashion labels have similar business models, using their prestige to sell clothing for prices several times higher than the cost of production. Not only does intangible assets help a company survive in the long run, they also help prevent other competitors from duplicating the company's products because they are protected by copyrights and patents. In addition, I want you to take note of this. Popular brands aren't always profitable brands. If a brand doesn't entice consumers to pay more, it may not create a competitive advantage. That's a red flag telling us that the management is not doing a good job to increase the business earnings and cash flow. From an investor's perspective, a popular brand means nothing to me if it's not profitable and if it doesn't show any promise for future growth. As an investor, what we care about is how we can make a return on our investments. If a business is not profitable, our investment won't be profitable and will likely take additional risks of losing our money. So make sure you pick your stock wisely. In summary, you should look for companies that are protected by the advantage of a premium brand name, a tightly licensed product, a loyal customer base, and an industry with extremely regulated and complex entry requirements. And you also want to make sure the company's management knows how to utilize these intangible assets. In the next video, I'll talk about the network effect, which is another way an economic moat can be created. Okay, see you in the next video.